today's video. I'm sorry for that I was late, but we were testing out the different cameras and the different microphones. It was kind of fun. Trying to figure out what I can do with this, how I want to do this. Um, but I think we figured, I think we figured it out. Hi, honey. <laughs> I hope this sounds good. Um, Dustin's going to be listening in and telling me if it sounds okay or if I should start with a different microphone. And I'm waiting to see if he'll text me. Thumbs up if it sounds okay would be a good thing. And there is a chat. I don't know. Uh, say hello to everybody. Um, I can't really do that while I'm doing this. But anyway, today's video is on the Petmate 500. Some of you, uh, my cat clients, know that what this is. This cat. This is a cat food feeder. It's actually designed to be a wet food, wet cat food feeder, but you can put in dry food if you want to add dry food. And this is what it looks like right here. And Catmate 500, it just means that there are five sections inside. So the weird, the weird thing is um, that the feeder has what I call one extra slot because the clock on there, you can schedule four times that you can have it be open. And so you're probably wondering, well, why is the there five then? <laughs> so here, here's how this works. First of all, I'm gonna tell you um, a little bit about this. This also comes in a Petmate 300, and then it looks kind of like that. It has three slots. So it would have two timed sections, and then it would have this extra one. And the extra one, they're, they're all numbered. I don't know if you can see this. All the little slots are numbered. See, that is three, and this is two, there's one, and then there's zero. So what is the deal with the zero? The cool thing about the zero is that you can have, you can set your feeder, and if your cats, let's say you feed them in the morning and you want to give them their regular feeding while you're there, you can put that in there. Or if you have a snack or something, um, another really cool way to use that extra slot is if you're doing the training, you have to train them to use the feeder. It's good to put a couple of treats in there so they get to want to see what's in all the rest of the slots, which is really nice. Um, so the feeder has the five slots. I love this one. Even if you don't use all the slots, uh, I think it's really important to have the option and the flexibility. The feeder comes with these two ice packs. And that seems okay if you're um, just using this at home. If you're using this with a cat sitter, you'll need a second set and some um some websites they don't they don't sell them <laughs> so where i bought them i actually ended up having to go somewhere else to buy all the additional ones for my cats so then what happens is you just keep a set in the freezer and then you just take them out and swap them out and wash this at the same time okay so this is an awesome feeder for cats I wouldn't recommend this for dogs. I had a little dog over COVID and she got into it. She learned how to open it up. <laughs> so it does latch like with a little, um, I don't know what you call that, a little snap on both sides. And I love that it has the ice packs. Um, I have some clients, they do not use the ice packs because some cats don't like the um, food being uh, too cold. But I really like to have the ice packs because some wet food doesn't doesn't last. It just doesn't hold overnight. And um, I think it and it doesn't stay like frigid cold. It's not like a refrigerator. It just keeps it cool. So it keeps it moist. Um, so I do like having the option of this, but you don't have to use them. Okay. I think this is a really great item. And I have suggested this to a lot of my cat clients for a number of reasons. And 
The main reason is because a lot of cats eat at like 4.30, 5 o'clock in the morning and there's not a way in the world I can be there at that time. The other reason is if cats eat at 6.30 or 7 or 7.30 or even 8.30, how can I be at every single cat's house at that time? I just can't do it. I, I have a lot of cat sitting visits that are, that are in the morning and um, I can only be at one person's house at 8.30, 9 o'clock in the morning. So <laughs> the feeder has been really awesome. And the cool, the way that I, the way that I use this and the reason it's so good is that it keeps the cat schedule at their regular set time, which keeps them regulated. And even if they're not a diabetic cat, older kitties, especially they, they will go right to that same spot. They know their schedule and if they're hungry and they're waiting, especially older kitties, they can get sort of an acidy stomach and they will throw up a little bit. And sometimes it's not even food that they're throwing up. It's just like stomach bile because they're, they don't feel good. Or maybe they, if, like one of my cats, Cindy, she had kidney disease. And if she, if we were not up and feeding them at the right time, she just didn't feel good. So um, this is awesome. Gives them their regularly scheduled meal. It'll also give them little snacks throughout the day which is really great because some older cats, they really need a little something in their tummy. Another cool thing about this feeder is you can set, set it so that you can put your medicine, if you have any medicine, supplements, um, what else would I put in here? Fish oil and other things um, like the glucosamine chondroitin powder stuff for cats, whatever that's called. Um, all kinds of stuff. So you can crush up pills and put it in the food. Um, I have another client that has uh, dry food, wet food, and a pill pocket put right on top and he eats it and he loves it. And he's not hangry when I get over to the house because he gets hangry when he's hungry and he has to have medicine. So this is awesome. You can, you can schedule um, all the different feedings. And the way that you, it works, it all starts with the clock. So right now you see that it's, it's off. The way that you turn it on is you hold these two buttons down at the same time, which I don't know if I can do when I'm, oh, there we go. And then you set the clock for whatever time. So let's see, three, it's 324, it's a little ahead of schedule. Um, but yeah, and it's backwards probably on here. <laughs> so it's, it's gonna bear with me. And then it has the four slots underneath and you can time them for any time. And I have a lot of clients that feed really early in the morning and even into the middle of the night after like 12, one o'clock. And um, that seems to be when they eat a lot of their wet food, which is kind of good. <laughs> so um, it keeps them busy because that's when they're really awake. So you set those and it's run with batteries. It has um, three of the, I think it's, what is it, double A? Oh boy, I'm not, good. yeah, double A batteries. And did you notice that I just took the batteries out, but it didn't die? It gives you a second, a couple seconds to, to change the batteries. <laughs> They're thinking of things. They're thinking of things, right? That would really upset a cat person. And so you set those times. And then the way that I do it is I go to the zero. I'm there at the zero, right? So let's say I'm there and I know I always set my cat sitting clients ones to zero. And why do I do that? Because I know that this one is going to be the next one. This one's I look at the I look at the next scheduled feedings and I know which ones to fill with what. Um, and it takes a little while to get used to it because some people don't know if it's turning this way or this way, but it goes this, it goes, <laughs> it goes this way. So this would be the next one and the next one and that so forth. So I just really love this. I love this item. Um, I have some, a client, I do one visit a day and I have, she has the three, pet made 300 and we put the, and put the food in there, put some little treats. And the cool thing is I can go back to the house the next day and I can go, 
don't have to be there very, very early. So I can do my really serious medical clients in the morning and then go over to her house and see what's going on. And what I do is I put it, I put it all the way back to zero. And then I say to myself, okay, boy, she ate all of the dinner. She didn't really eat breakfast. And so I kind of know where the cats are at. I know what they're eating. And um, I know if they got their medicine, that kind of thing. So this is a fan, this is a fantastic tool, and that's how I I use it in cat sitting. And my clients get extra of these, so that I can just take them out of the freezer, and put them in there, and it keeps everything cool. Another awesome thing I forgot to mention is that this is really easy to clean. This is easier to clean than a lot of the ceramic cat dishes. The only thing that um, I don't like about it is that it's plastic. And if you have a cat that has feline acne, it might irritate that. So I haven't known any clients um, that have had that problem yet with this. And my cats have not had that problem. So that's what it looks like. This is Lainey's. The Catmate 500. And let's see. The only other thing it wouldn't be good with is if you have a diabetic cat. So if you have a diabetic cat and you need to do insulin at that same time that they're eating their food, then obviously you need to have a cat sitter there. So this would only be good as like, let's say you, you have a diabetic cat and you are doing the morning and night visit with the insulin. If you have snacks in between that are healthy that your vet tells you to to give like for example I had a diabetic cat and um, what ended up happening was he just got so hungry in the middle of the day so my vet told me I could get bacon and cook it really really good so it was like totally crunchy and I chopped it all up and put it in a bag in the fridge and I would give him little bits throughout the day that was something another client I had <laughs> she had a diabetic cat and she was actually feeding healthy snacks throughout the day, um, like chicken or um, what, what else? I, I don't remember, but her vet had told her there are certain, there are certain okayed food items that you can, that you can give. <laughs> and, um, but she wanted it to be timed. She didn't want them to just have it all day. So it was a certain amount throughout the day. And that's, that's how I like being able to use this. So if you, if you have an older cat or you just have cats that need to eat really early, um, this is awesome. Great tool. Then the cat sitter doesn't have to come with the crack, crack of dawn. Um, and it's really easy to set up. <laughs> so I hope that you like this. If you have any questions, I know that there's not that many people on here right now. Like I think my, my husband might be on here. Um, but if you do rewatch this video and you're like, whoa, this could be a game changer, I want you to uh, text me or text me through the app. Um, I will send you the link to it, the two different ones, so you can look at them and see if it's see if it's something that could work with you. And I'd be happy if you want to let me know what your situation is, how we could make this work for you, uh, because this could really help you out. Even with, even if you're not having me as a cat sitter, even if you don't need me to do this. What if you need this just to integrate this into your own house and how you could use this if you're not home and this could really help your help your help your cat. So I, I love that you can see what they're eating and, and you kind of get an overview bird's eye view of how they're doing every day. So that's about it. That's the pet mate 500. I don't have the 300, but I have some pictures of what that looks like. So if you would like more information, please let me know and we can go from there. All right. Thanks so much for watching and I really appreciate you. Have a great day. Or should I say, have a perfect day. Have a perfect day. <laughs>